CBN 69 Eisenhower, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSR Norton, CBN 77, George Bush, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSN Pasquale, LHD4 Boxer, San Diego, California. CSSR Perez, LSD48 Ashland, Sasebo, Japan. CSSR Quintana, CDN70 Vincent, San Diego, California. CSSSN Rayleigh, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSR Ranger, DDG70 Hopper, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. CSSR Roberts, DDG 53, John Paul Jones, Seattle, Washington. CSSR Sanchez, CVN 70, Vincent, San Diego, California. CSSR Schulte, LPD 19, Mesa Verde, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSR Sexton, DDG 115, R. Peralta, Yokosuka, Japan. CSSR Shida, LCC 19, Blue Ridge, Yokosuka, Japan. CSSN Tubbs, CBN 77, George Bush, Norfolk, Virginia. CSSR Watkins, CBN 68, Nimitz, Bremerton, Washington. CSSN William, CBN 70, San Diego, California. During this five week course, our Navy students challenge themselves and their peers to grow both personally and professionally. We will now recognize the individual achievements of those students who excelled in both performance and academics. Chief Whiteside will present the awards. The following awards are given to the class leader, assistant class leader, master at arms, duty section leaders, and religious ministries. The students receiving these awards have shown innovation and dedication to duty reflecting great credit upon themselves. From Officer in Charge, Naval Technical Training Center, Detachment 4 Lee, Subject Letter of Appreciation, I want to personally thank you for volunteering to be a student leader and duty section leader for CSA School Class 13. Your acceptance of this position displays true leadership, professionalism, and motivation. Your performance was exemplary. You have set an exceptionally high standard of excellence for future class leaders to emulate. Your actions have reflected great credit upon this command in yourself. Congratulations on a job well done. Signed, A.J. Johnson, TWO-03 Supply Corps, United States Navy. CSSR Donaldson, CSSR Joseph, CSSR Ranger, CSSR Bailey, CSSR Blake, CSSR Montano, CSSR Norton, CSSR Sexton, CSSA Betts, and CSSN Hewlett. First rank, right face, fall up.
Second ring, right face, fall out. The following award is the Superior Culinarian Award. Before I call awardees up, I would like to say this was a really tough decision for myself to make and all the instructors here. We did an outstanding job during our gallery week, and each of y'all are deserving of this award. I can only choose three. CSSR Coleman, CSSR Roberts, and CSSN Williams. Students, right face, fall out. I would now like to present the Hard Charger Award. This sailor had some uh, trials and tribulations in the beginning. I've heard a lot about the sailor before they came to our class. Sailor has done an outstanding job in his duties and performed really, really well and is highly deserving of this Hard Charger Award. CSSR Harrison, front and center. Next, I would like to present our Honored Graduate Award. This award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest grade point average. CSSA Herndon, front and center. Finally, I would like to present the Accelerated Advancement Program Award. This award is given to those students who have excelled each performance evaluation and achieved top 10% in academic standing. The students receiving this award may be advanced to the pay grade of E4 by his or her next command between 4 to 10 months after reporting award. This recommendation waives the time and rate requirement and the advancement exam. CSSR Donaldson. CSSR Ranger, CSSA Mateo, front and center.
students, right face, follow. Class 13, take seats. Ah, seats. We will now have closing remarks by our officer in charge, CWO3 Johnson. Morning, morning, motivators. Good morning, sir. I know y'all can give it to me a little bit better because you got about to graduate. One more time. Good morning, morning, motivators. Good morning, sir. I'm talking about it. I'm still in my chest. <laughs> uh, looking at you guys. All the staff, uh, they come into this class a lot for all the great things that you guys do. Uh, most of you guys ask me, hey, sir, how can I be successful? What can I prepare myself for when I go out to the fleet? How can I be better? So I'm looking back, I'll just sit right in the thing. Man, what can I tell you guys that you don't already know? What knowledge can I instill in you guys that can just take you uh, to the fleet and you know that everything is going to be okay? How can I turn you guys into, what they like to say, beast? You know what I'm saying? Beast mode. So, uh, you know, I'm going to ask you guys a question. I want feedback, right? Y'all got to give me this energy that I give you guys. So, uh, like, what is a beast? What is a beast? Go get it. Go get it, right? Go, you know, all right, so in the uh, jungle, who's the, the king of the jungle? The lion. The lion. All right, the lion, right? The lion is the king of the jungle. So what makes a lion a lion? Somebody give me qualities of a lion. What you have? A strong and fierce Strong and fierce Somebody else? Always hungry. Always hungry. It's pride. It's pride. It's pride. Killer instinct. Killer instinct. Bravery. Huh? Bravery. Bravery. All that, right? That is the um, the characteristics of a lion. So how can I instill those characteristics in you? In you? Can y'all be the become beast? Yes. Yes. Sir. Y'all don't believe yourself, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Can y'all become beast? Yes. yes sir. What? To become a beast, you gotta have this one. This one. Every morning, a lion wakes up, it knows it's hungry, it got to eat, it got to bring food back to the pack because if you don't go out to hunt, guess what? They won't eat. They will not eat. You guys have to be hungry. Have to be hungry. You, got to, you guys got to have self-discipline. Not just looking for to get a award. Oh, I'm going to do this so I can get an award. I'm going to do this so I can get self-recognition. All that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean nothing. Because awards, guess what? It's going to sit on your mantle or you're going to put it in a folder you're going to forget about it. They're going to say, oh, congratulations. I graduated high school. I'm good. Guess what? It's gone now. We're working on yourself. We're trying to make yourself become self-disciplined. And, uh, and the accountability portion of it, it lies with you. It lies with you. So every day, so if I give you uh, $86,400 a day, what would you do with it? But it's stipulations, right? $86,400. You have to utilize that money that day. You can't save it. You can't invest it. You got to utilize that money that day. And guess what? If you don't utilize that money that day, the next day, I'm going to give you another $86,400. What would you do? Somebody tell me. I would help the poor. You would help the poor? Okay. Give back to charity. Give back to charity. Someone else. 
family. Help out your family. Who else? Be realistic. Start your own business. Start your own business. Someone else. I mean, go get my hair done. Go get your hair done, right? I mean, let's be real. Build a house is important. Build a house. Some of you guys think, oh, get me a car. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the stunt. Yes. Travel the world. Travel the world. Pay my little brother's college. Pay my little brother's college. Yes. Pay my little brother's college. Guess what? Every day, you get 86,400 seconds. Every day, you get 86,400 seconds to invest in yourself. To invest in yourself. Are you wasting that time? What are you doing to invest in yourself? Guess what? You can't go back in time, but tomorrow you'll get another 86,400 seconds. Some people say, I got time for this. I got time. But time is contingent on the end date. On the end date. So some people say, I got time to do this, but guess what? If I only have three, year, three years to live, I'm going to do everything I got to do every day to fulfill my life in two of those three years. No one knows when the end date is going to be. So every day, I want you guys to invest in yourself. I want you guys to find that self-discipline inside yourself. So I'm going to ask you this. How many people had bad days before? Everybody. Everybody in this room had bad days. So I'm going to ask you this. What is your percentage for beating bad days? What is your percentage for beating bad days? A lot. Huh? A lot. A lot about me having bad days. Laugh about me having bad days. What's your percentage for beating bad days? I always find a bright side. I always find a bright side. Sometimes it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Okay. I look forward to the next day. Take a nap. Take a nap. I make someone else's day. Make someone else's day. So some of you guys may think, hey, my percentage for being bad days is like 35, 45%, even um, 50 to 60%, right? But guess what? I'm here to tell you. Your percentage for being bad days is 100%. It's 100%. Let's think about this. Every bad day we have had in our entire life, in our entire life, we have got past. Just think about that. Every bad day we have had in our entire life, we have got past it. We got us to this point right here. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe so, right? So we was like, man, it's no way. I'm going to get past this day. There's no way I can, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Guess what? All that stuff passed. And you're here right now. So your percentages for being bad days is 100%. Another uh, key thing that I can tell you, you got to get a mentor. You have to get a mentor. And I was like, mm, I don't know, sir. Guess what? Who's one of the greatest basketball players? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Guess what? They had a trainer. They had somebody training them. Who's a, uh, one of the best uh, football players? Messi. Huh? Yeah, okay. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Guess what? They all have personal trainers to train them to get them better. Who's one of the, uh, the greatest rappers or singers or song artists that you guys know? Kendrick Lamar. Huh? Kendrick Lamar. Okay. All that. Guess what? Young Stage, Jay Z, you name it. They have vocal coaches, they have mentors. Guess what? Before Jay Z was a billionaire, he went to Warren Buffett and started having meetings with Warren Buffett. Everybody heard of Warren Buffett before? Yes, sir. Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world. He started having meetings with Warren Buffett, and guess what? Years later, Jay Z became a billionaire. After that, guess what? Kanye West, Rihanna, 
uh, Beyonce, all them. They was under Jay-Z, right? Guess what? They became millionaires. They had mentors, right? The Kardashians, been the Kardashians forever, right? They had their TV show forever. They didn't hit billion status until, guess what? Kanye hit billion dollars. Then, that his business mindset got them to be billionaires. Every mentor you have, guess what? You have different walks of life. I can't tell my friends back at home, hey, I, I want to be a, a naval officer. I want to be a chief in the Navy. They're like, yeah, okay, sure. They don't know what that is. They can't help you get to that point. They can't help you get to that point. I give you a story. When my daughter was little. I was trying to help her read. Trying my best to help her read. And the word that we got stuck up on is the. T-H-E. Can anybody explain why the, the, sounds the way that it does? Because it does not make sense. T makes the t, right? Everybody know how, you know, so I'm like, hey, baby, this word is the. She was like, no, daddy, it is t, he. Right? I said, no, it is the. She was like, no, daddy. I said, say the. She said, the. I said, say the, the, this word, the. Okay, read this sentence. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I can't, I'm like, what is this? I'm like, baby, I don't know why. I, was just, I had to get up from the table for a minute. I came back. Come on, baby. I know that it is, it is, you taught me. And you know, you know what I'm saying? E, you know, the E had a long way. You know, I'm like, baby, I understand that. But right now, this rule doesn't apply for this word. Which means this rule don't apply. We have rules for reasons. All the words that I taught her prior to real words came back and bit me. I had to walk away. I wasn't the right mentor for my daughter for this time because I didn't have the patience, right? My wife had to come in and be like, hey, I got it. She, she was the right mentor for that time. Guess what? When I told my father I wanted to join the Navy, well, oh no, son, I don't know. I think you can get a job working with your hands. Oh, let's go try this welding thing. Let's go do this. Dad, I'm going to do something different, right? You work this way all your life. It's time for me to do something better for myself. It's time for me to do something better. How many people have ever told you this? Like, uh, I don't know if this going to work for you. Like, hey, this is my dream. This is my idea. And they're like, uh, I don't know if that's going to work. How many people uh, have had those conversations before? Few of you in this room, guess what? That is their limits, not yours. They say, no, I don't think I can do this. That's their limits, not your limits. They limit themselves. They don't know where your limits is. They don't know. I like to say, yesterday's price is not today's price. Have y'all heard that before? Yes, sir. Yesterday's price ain't today's price. So when I was on a submarine working, I thought I was one of the best cooks. They used to be like, hey, um, hey CS2. I need you to come do this catering gig for me. Sure. How much you gonna charge? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Cool. No problem. I do the thing. I went to the White House. Started being around the, the different chefs there. Started getting my uh, home in on myself. They're like, hey, see you too. I need you to come do this catering gig for me. <laughs> hey, I need a grant. <laughs> I need a grant. You gotta pay me. I'm, I'm, I'm better now, right? I'm better now. You gotta pay me. Yesterday's price ain't today's price because the state of the dumb for yourself. I had Jay Z offer me a job. Guess what? When I was E5, E6, hey, I want you to come work with me. Get out of the way and come work with me. And you can come manage, you know, one of my clubs, restaurants, and stuff like that. How much you gonna pay me? I think right then it was like a hundred, a hundred and some thousand that was this, uh, this manager was making. I was like, mm. no, you know what I work for? I work for the president. You gotta pay me more. You know what I'm saying? If I do this election, there gonna be two presidents on my bill. <laughs> you gotta pay me a little bit more. I'm like, I passed. As an E5, E6, I'm turning down a hundred thousand dollars. 
working with some of the famous people in the world. No, because I know it's better for me. So I would say the sky is the limit for you guys, all right? The sky is the limit for you guys. I look at my my instructors, my chiefs, same chiefs in the back, CS students, and I see that in you guys. All the tools that you guys need to be successful, you have. You have. I see my future chiefs, CS twos, CS ones, warrant officers. I see you guys coming to relieve me out in the field. The glass ceiling is already broken for you guys. We just wait on you guys to, to break through. You guys have all the knowledge you need to be successful. But knowledge without understanding is useless. Knowledge without understanding is useless. So I want you guys to keep on investing in yourself. Find that self discipline. Motivate yourself. Motivate yourself. You don't need other things to motivate you. Motivate yourself. Last story I'm going to tell you, when I was a, a senior, I was on a submarine, and they was like, hey, sir, uh, hey, uh, CSS here, uh, we're going to put you in for this map to get uh, advanced. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm a good you know, watch captain, right? Did what I needed to do. And they was like, oh, well, we didn't give it to you this time. Somebody else uh, beat you. You know, my attitude was, I was like, they was like, they gave it to this other guy. My chief was upset. They gave it to someone else um, because he was married and uh, he had a lot of things going on. So that's why they gave it to him. Not because of my work ethic. Even though that was wrong, right? Today's Navy, it's not like that, right? But back then, that's what it was. You know what I'm telling you, my attitude was, I wasn't upset about that. I was upset at myself because I didn't do more to say that it is no competition that this guy should have it. So next next year, I qualify on the rates. I qualify on the jobs. So when they put my package in front of them, hands down, who's going to beat this guy? Sustained superior performance. I wasn't mad at them. I was mad that I didn't have more to put in my package, so there would be no question about where I need to be, about the things of the position I need to be in. So keep on investing in yourself. Keep on having self-discipline. You got to be fine. Trust me. And I will see you out when it's in one day. All right. So y'all got to give it to me. When I say it's too easy, you got to say it's too easy. When I say you got this, you say we got this. When I say all in, you got to say all the time. All right. Here we go. It's too easy. Too easy. We got this. We got this. Too easy. Too easy. We got this. We got this. All in. All in. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, graduates. This now concludes our graduating ceremony. Hooyah, class 13. Hooyah!